Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today I have a single serve coffee maker. Uh, I've been looking to have one in the studio and it's by Famiwerfs and this thing is absolutely awesome. I've actually taken it out of the box already just to kind of give you an idea. That is the box and it comes with a bunch of accessories. Uh, one, it has this K-cup adapter that you can put in there and then it has the uh, coffee ground adapter as well so you can make it from like coffee grounds or from like the the carry K cups uh, which is pretty awesome and what you do is you basically however big your coffee mug is I made a mistake of I actually filled this up all the way and it kind of like overfilled so good thing I tested this first but what I do is I take whatever coffee cup I'm going to use and then I put in like that amount of water so make sure that it doesn't overfill on you so we open it back up, and then I basically pour that in. And so th there is enough room that you can make a, like a larger cup of coffee, which I kind of like learned by trial and error with this. But anyhow, you just put that down on your side, and then you want to get this basically going. So I'm just going to do a regular cup, or you can do a bold. And then you open this up, and you take a little K-cup. And put it there with the adapter in it. You push down on that, and then when that is ready, and it has kind of a little safety on it too. So if you do open that in the middle, it will shut off like I just did. But anyhow, that will uh, get that going for you. And then if you want to open it back, you can see how fast that the water starts boiling. And then this will be ready in a couple minutes. Move that here so we get a better angle on that. And make sure your cup is nice and centered. And then you can kind of see from the back how that's starting to really boil there. goes starting to pump and that smells great almost done And there you go, an awesome cup of coffee. Man, that smells great. What a great taste of a cup of coffee. Anyway, uh, and uh, so next we're going to be using the the coffee ground part, but with your K cup, you can take this right out and dispose of this pretty easy. And we'll just dump that right here. Then you can wash and rinse that out, put that off onto the side, and then we'll, you have your coffee ground container that you can put your regular coffee grounds into. So let's open this up. Then just a scooper not included, but Use whatever scoop you do, so we'll just make this about half full. And then you just put your coffee grounds in there. So I'll make one cup of coffee, then you just put this in here. And then we're going to add some more water. I'm going to go get some, so hang tight. Let me drink this cup of coffee, and I'll be right back. Okay, and then what we do is we'll fill this up. And how much coffee we want. <clears throat> and again, we'll pour this in the back. Try not to spill any water. And then this time on this one, 
we're going to use the uh, the bolt setting. So we'll let that uh, boil up. And then on the bolt setting, what I notice is it will just kind of drip through a lot slower so it can pick up more of the, uh, the taste. And so it just like slowly adds it. And there you go. So it just lets the water flow through a lot more slowly. So it can pick up that deep, rich coffee taste for you. Just about done. Oh, it's got a really, that's a good smell to it as well. I think we're just about done. A couple more drips. But yeah, so that's a. Yeah, it definitely has a good rich taste to it. Anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching and uh, be safe out there.